Hey guys, this is Lord Ryan, and today I'm going to be doing a pickup review on a Nike Lab release. I showed these in my previous pickup uh, haul video of the Nike Clearance and Bape. Uh, these are the Nike uh, Nike Lab Air Max 1 VSP, otherwise known as the Patch. I got these in the sand colorway because I thought it was the cleanest out of the three. They also had an olive color and an all black, which is also pretty clean, but I opted to go with the sand colorway. So the first thing you notice is when you open this, you get a box with the top full of patches. Uh, this is the selling point on the shoe. It's an all to uh, neutral tonal color. It has some Velcro on the back and on the tongue, and you can switch off patches on it if you like. Uh, you can put whatever you really want. It has different cities listed. It has a little alien head, the Air Max logo, and the Nike Air 1 VSP tag. So pretty nice. Uh, the details all in the shoe, though. I picked these up used off eBay. Uh, not too upset with the quality on these. These are very nice. It has a hyperfuse upper all around here, so if something was to happen, like if you got mud or wet or something, it'll just wipe right off. Uh, besides that, it's an all canvas upper, which is, I think, a poor idea since it is a, uh, a Velcro shoe. If you were to get the Velcro on the canvas, it pulls off a little bit. Um, but besides that, they really executed the shoe well. I really like the tonal, like, desert sand color. It's really, really nice. Uh, they weren't worn too bad. Uh, it's barely worn at all, to be honest. And as you can see right here, there's no branding on it. You put your you put your patch there. You put one on the back, all around. Pretty simple shoe. Not too much to go over. All tonal. Uh, it's a nice one silhouette, which is always a nice look, especially for like the fall and the winter time. Uh, this color I think would go great with black pants. If I was to wear this shirt right here. Uh, black joggers or black pants with these, I think it would look really nice. Uh, also, another cool detail on it, let me set that down, is on the inside you do get an American flag patch, which is actually really cool. It's sewn in, so it's not going to fade off like, a, say, like an Air Jordan logo or anything. That's going to stay for life unless you unstitch it. So that's a really nice little, uh, little touch to it. Uh, there's no drag. It's actually kind of hard to get drag on one since they do go up like that. Uh, so very nice shoe, very nice condition. Picked them up for about retail, I think. I'm not too sure what retail was on these. These are a Europe release, hence the sticker on the tag. I mean, the yeah, the sticker inside the insole, and also the no si the no uh, suggested retail on the box. Uh, guys shipped them to me pretty quick, no complaints. Uh, I do have another pair coming in Friday, not of these, but of sock darts. So I'll be doing a review on those soon. But I mean, very nice shoe, very nice colorway. I'm sorry if the light's kind of getting in the way right there, um, but it's really just a tonal sand color. It's more of a khaki beige. Uh, I've seen some other ones that are sand, which are a little bit lighter. The light really does make it really light. That's more of like a, let me see, like a, just a really just a tan. It's more of a khaki color. If you were to wear khakis with this, khaki chinos or something, it would really just blend in and look really nice. So, uh, Hopefully this review was helpful to y'all. Really nice shoe, very nice quality. If you're looking to pick one up, you can't go wrong. It's all tonal colorway. It's not going to be too loud. It's not going to be too bright. It's going to be just right. Especially for fall, you really want tonal colorways on your foot. Um, something like a wheat color, something that's why a lot of people wear Timberlands and stuff. Very nice shoe. I recommend picking it up if you can find it for a good price. They go around 200 on eBay. If you wait like me and you search for a good price, you'll find one. So don't be uh, too giddy on it. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Lord Ryan. You can follow me on Instagram at Lord underscore Ryan. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.